What up, you guys? Shabbat Shalom. We are here for our weekend reflection message. We are using the Radiant Sun Oracle and clarifying with the Dreaming Way Tarot. So for starters, we got Saturn in Leo, which was generosity, followed by the Moon in Taurus, which is exaltation, and Mars in Aquarius, which is rebellion. Interestingly enough, there are a lot of things that are coming up and going on right now that are tied into Saturn, Leo, um, the moon and Aquarius and all of this, you know, kind of energy right now. So I've, it's interesting that these cards actually came out. So underneath generosity, we've got seven of pentacles. Underneath Exaltation, we've got Knight of Swords. And underneath Rebellion, we've got Knight of Cups. <clears throat> so, I like this card when it was like right, written in the card on the description. It points out that this is like this speaker and he's speaking to a big crowd of people. If you look close, there's like this huge audience and he's telling the teachings of a former prophet or philosopher that came before him. It's like a former prophet. And so up top here is like the prophet himself that first told the teachings, raining down like guidance and wisdom and almost like divine guidance or whatever an inspiration that is guiding this speaker um, to like uh, tran like tran channel these teachings, right? So like divinely inspired um, channeling of like teachings coming in, um, which is really cool. It's interesting. I mean, for me specifically, it's just like reminds me of when I read uh, and we teach out of the Gospel of Philip on um, our Saturday Night Secret Sermons. And it's almost as if like I'm channeling all the information through because I've never written, written, read any of these um, uh, gospels. And it's like sometimes it feels like I'm working with Philip, like a spirit guide or something like that. So I think that this is a, in, in a way, if you, you know, feel like you have a, any particular like spirit guide that has been working with you and inspiring you and sending you like guidance, maybe tune in and listen to that. Um, also like Saturn in Leo, there's been so many aspects recently about particularly while Mercury's in retrograde in Leo and it has been in retrograde in like Virgo and Leo. And so it's really given us the, like the inspiration and the fire to look back over things and really get clear on what our patterning was or being able to recognize it when it comes up so that we're not like cursed to keep repeating the same cycles because we keep reacting in the same ways. And so seven of pentacles comes up here because it's like we're waiting for the change to come. It just doesn't feel like anything's happening right now. It feels like seeds are planted. We're waiting for the fruition, but this is like a seeming pause in activity, but there's really more going on than meets the eye, but it's that lull before a growth spurt. And it's just giving us an opportunity to like recalibrate, get centered, get grounded, get really sober in our minds and emotionally sober where we can tune into the intuition without being controlled with our emotions. But the seeds are well planted and positive changes are coming. It's just that this is like a kind of a moment of time out in order to get our ducks in a row. This week has been a lot about getting our mundane physical ducks in a row as well. And then that kind of prompts the subconscious to come forward also. So very good. Um, also, I think that we're being encouraged that 
whatever our goal is, if we have a dream, whatever we've been working towards, our vision for the year, or, you know, sometimes our goals change. Sometimes we have these big long-term ones and some we have short-term ones. And so whatever we've been working on, I also think it's an encouragement to keep going that um, we're closer than we think and that it just feels like that moment where it's just like, oh, is anything gonna sh show fruit? And I think it will. The other cards are favorable to indicate that like your efforts are gonna bear fruit. So the moon in Taurus is the exaltation of this pairing. It's like the, the moon gets to be its best, its fullest expression within the sign of Taurus. So, this is like a cornucopia or a pairing of cornucopias underneath a, a waxing crescent that is surrounded by rays of like flowers and blossom. So this is like this, like a, a moon in Taurus person, like the vibe right now is feeling like, like they want their physical security to all be in place in order for their emotional well-being to be in place. And so that's why I think that this is a lot of this week has to do with like getting the extra clutter out of our emotions and out of our like nervous system by cleaning up our environment, doing the mundane things like nourishing ourselves, taking care of ourselves. I just ate chocolate covered almonds. That's another way I like to take care of myself. But the moon in um, Taurus, it's like a, a good expression of this would be like ways to self nurture, um, like making a really nice meal out of like raw whole foods and it's like made from scratch. That's actually what I'm going to do um, after this as well. But it's like the tour, like the moon is all about food. It's connected to the dimension of the storehouse. So that's the astral realm. It has a lot to do with like the imagination. It's kind of where souls pass through coming and going through this material world. It's the non-material world right on the other side of the material. The moon is associated with this realm. And so all sustenance passes through here as well. So the full moon in Aquarius is happening Monday. And I feel like the vibes here are like, it's giving us a chance to like start our new self, our higher self and go and like radically change from all the, the programming and the thinking that have come before that we just are predisposed to. Like all the old patterning, all the old stories about herself, like all the old ways that we saw things and talked about things, it's like, it's over. It's like if we had spiritual amnesia and we get to reset and we're like, wow, this is great. I feel great. I don't have any baggage. Like, I'm cool. I get to like create myself as I go now. And you can just be like light of heart and foot. And you know, it's all, everything's kind of like, you know, what you want it to be. Um, why not, right? So start fresh. <clears throat> the moon in Taurus, exaltation, um, taking care of the kingdom, nurturing the self, uh, getting basic things in order, like your household, uh, knocking things off of your things to do list, getting your finances in order, getting your body and health in good order and all of that, taking care of the self, like self care, self nurturing, all of those themes. But then we have this paired with Knight of Swords. So I think in this moment where we're resting, we're getting a lot of clarity about like what steps we need to take moving forward, which like the Knight of Swords is about taking action. The Knight of Swords is the most like fast moving Knight of the, all of the Knights. So they're ready to like jump in and they see what needs to be done and they're, they're ready to take action. But I think this is on the other side of like, just like a pause, a lull, to allow the clarity to come, like get renewed, get refreshed, have a reset, and then everything will just move forward um, naturally with more ease rather than like doing something impulsively or like impetuously and making a mistake. Like the Knight of Swords can also be un, like not very um, discerning and they can be you know, just come in like swinging the sword all these different ways and not paying attention to how they're going about things. So 
taking our time to get clarity, but then when the clarity comes, being able to take swift action and get to work. I also noticed that in comparison to like the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, like when I'm looking down at the spread, it looks like the Knight of Swords is running backwards. And so it made me think of Mercury retrograde. Mercury is an air sign. Mercury is in retrograde right now. So it's got us looking back on, you know, ways that we have been in the past and ways that we have responded and ways that we have jumped to meet any given occasion. But now we're rethinking that, right? We're, we're getting clear on what we, how we used to do things so that we can do things differently this time. And so we're connecting with our higher self and we're starting to like go slow enough where we can self master and practice the self control to say like, huh, what would my, how would my higher self see the situation? You know, what would my higher self appreciate about this? What would my higher self be, um, concerned with here like think about like how the higher self would perceive the situation what would the higher what are the actions and habits of the higher self right what are the the what's the new pattern right so the uh, mars in aquarius it's like having that um that gumption that fighting spirit to like we were saying last night like fight for your vision fight for your your new consciousness fight for that to come through pay attention to old ways of like judging a situation or perceiving a situation or even talking about situation like challenge it all challenge those old patterns coming up because it's like when you have like a, a physical habit that forms like say you had to like walk with a limp for a while to correct for like something in your foot or like uh, your leg and then it's like that habit forms and after the thing is healed and you can like go back to walking normal, it's almost like you start to like walk with that limp again because it was like what was ingrained in you, you got used to it. And so it's like catching yourself going back into like an old habit and then retraining your muscles. Like dance was a good physical representation, physical metaphor of this because the body has comfortable ways that it wants to sit and move and address the world. And if you're in a ballet, it's like you have to learn how to like turn your hips out and like turn your knees with your hips so that you don't hurt your knees and like tuck your pelvis under, and like raise your shoulder. It's like all of these things that are unnatural to your, your normal posture and your relaxed status, your relaxed mode. It's like, it's a completely different like way to train your body to hold itself and move. And so it'd be like when you're trying to work on your turnout with your feet, you're like, they would just want to go back to the comfortable setting. <laughs> it's like this muscle memory is just like trained. So for a little bit, we're having to pay extra attention to retrain our neuroplasticity, retrain and make new patterns, make positive patterns, make a habit of like good routines and good, um, good behaviors and choices and good positive reinforcement and that and and so we're building new neural pathways using that neural plasticity but for a while it's going to take vigilant like self-awareness and presence and like a practice a devotion of paying attention to it and retraining the mind and retraining the heart and retraining the soul in that direction and it's like soul ballet <laughs> mental ballet so we're going against all of the preconditioning, right? Rebe this rebellion, like, you know, going against like the old, the previously established, right? The, um, all that came before, like the, the previous groundwork, it's like being challenged. So that is bringing us more toward our purpose. And it's giving us, it's like bringing our, creativity alive again and new opportunities are coming and new offers are being made and presented and you know fun positive feelings of adventure and like a sense of like being like I don't know swept away by life and and like feeling romantic again and like the knight of cups is like dramatic and full of flair and uh, you know he's like the romance knight the knight of feeling the knight of being like a creative like artist and 
all of that. So I feel like our inspiration is coming back and our like lust for life is coming back again. Um, and we're going to have like a resurgence of creativity because like just pushing through all those old patterns is going to move through all of this stagnancy and like doing all new things is going to inspire you in all new ways. And you're going to be thinking about things differently and you're going to be having different creative ideas and, and things coming through. So don't give up now if your creative endeavor or your dreams haven't, um, done what you wanted them to by now um things could be very different very soon or you could completely see something in a new way or in a different way um but don't uh don't lose hope it's just that the full expression or the the particular expression hasn't come through yet i eat ciao Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it, then please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn on notifications to be notified of when I drop content. Like the videos, comment, share them. Anything that you do helps these messages get out to other people who need them. So you watching a video and taking an action on it actually makes a positive difference in someone else's life.